points to a disregard for human rights and directly relates to an irrational set of priorities that are being dictated. Since last December, this prayer vigil has been maintained by a dedicated crew, some of whom are here with us now. Oh, no! This team has endured winter, Police harassment yes. yeah. and poisons yeah. that can become the only thing preventing despair. Poisons that persist as we as we fight yet another failed war, the drug war. All of this lies at the doors of those responsible, and this time we won't just go away. There is nowhere left to go to. They are taking it all. They are stealing it all. Yeah. Fuck austerity! The Portland Police Bureau was recently slammed for its systematic failure to treat people with respect. That pattern showed itself in those parks last fall, in Shemansky Park last winter, and it continues to show itself right here every day. To try to shift the blame on a, onto a broken mental health system is a supreme irony, as the city council's callous refusal to allow people to simply sleep, combined with the day-to-day -day behavior of the police toward people who try to sleep on the streets, are contributors to mental health crisis in the first place. is a self-fulfilling situation. One need only consider what it is like to get a single bad night's sleep to begin to grasp the reality of this torturous city policy. It is not forgotten that this situation is due to the misuse of our wealth to enrich a few thieves and to murder many innocents. Oh, yeah. When the Occupy camps were cleared last fall, the poorest were once again removed from the political process. By being leaderless, Occupy creates an opportunity for the poor to lead in the battle for civil rights, their own as well as others. And to overlook the needs of the most poor is to start in the wrong place. Before I join you and we re-march, I want to leave you with one thing. A new study done by Fairness and Accuracy in Reporting states that poverty barely registers as a campaign issue. Oh. Out of 10,489 campaign stories over six months, 17 of them dealt with poverty in a substantive way. And overall in the media, less than 1% of stories deal with the issue of poverty. Cover up. The media lies and they suck. Oh, yes. Again, on behalf of the end of the Camping Band Vigil. Thank you for being here. Enjoy the rest of your march and solidarity.